Richard Childress Racing is an iconic name in NASCAR. Dale Earnhardt brought the organization to prominence with six titles. There haven't been any more cup championships, but there's been plenty of success. Last Saturday at Martinsville, both RCR Xfinity Series cars, driven by Sheldon Creed and Austin Hill, were close to adding to that success, running up front on the final lap with a high percentage chance to win the race. When the checkered flag flew, shockingly, neither one of them crossed the finish line first. A teammate controversy was born, and the team owner, without hesitation, blamed Creed for it. The anger levels at RCR were so high that fans wondered if the team would allow the driver back in the car for the final race of the season at Phoenix. Denny Hamlin jumped into that conversation this week on his Actions Detrimental podcast and revealed an eye-opening story about Tyler Reddick and what he was threatened with during his time with the organization before joining 2311 Racing in 2023. When taking a closer look at Hamlin's remarks, there's a pattern of behavior. Saturday night at Martinsville was full of drama, and it interestingly started on the final lap of the Xfinity Series race with everything on the line in both Richard Childress Racing drivers, Sheldon Creed and Austin Hill, running first and second and trying to win the race and more significantly, clinch a berth in the Championship 4 in Phoenix. Unbelievably, neither RCR driver won because they managed to take each other out, allowing Justin Allgaier to sneak underneath and beat the number two in a drag race to the checkered flag. Minutes after the race, Richard Childress spoke with NBC Sports and didn't sugarcoat what he thought about the situation and who was to blame. I've had drivers drive for me before, but nobody as stupid as Sheldon Creed. You don't do that as a team player. What else do you want me to tell you? By most accounts, that was an extremely harsh response and an inaccurate one. Creed didn't appear to do anything wrong on the track. If anything, Hill was initially the aggressor. There had to be more to the story for the team owner to go off and say such ugly words, right? Unsurprisingly, this week, the RCR teammate conflict has been a hot topic of conversation in NASCAR circles. Denny Hamlin has been known to have an opinion or two about the sport on his podcast. The three-time Daytona 500 winner, who offers a unique perspective as a driver and team co-owner, shared his thoughts on the situation. During that discussion, Hamlin was asked if he thought there was any chance that Childress would park Creed and not allow him to race at Phoenix. That's when he made a shocking revelation. Oh, I, I think they would. I mean, they... You know, they were they were threatening to put Tyler in a really bad car, um, and you know, basically take him out of the eight yeah. this year and put him in like a, a terrible third car. Remember back to last year, Childress was upset about Reddick's announcement right out of the gate and didn't hesitate to let that be known. The timing of this announcement could not be any worse. Tweet was the owner's first official thoughts on the move. Childress made it clear multiple times with the press that he didn't think it was professional how Reddick handled the announcement by letting him know about it an hour before it was official. Several months later, when Childress announced the signing of Kyle Busch, he did the same thing to Reddick, telling the driver around an hour before the announcement that the two-time champion would be taking over the number eight car and getting his crew chief, who the young driver had built a solid rapport working together and achieving his first career cup wins. It went okay, Childress said of the meeting. Reddick understood our contract and what's in it. I just told him we had a contract to race him next year, and I talked to him later about keeping him posted on how it's going and what we're going to be doing, how we're going to put it together. What they were going to do, according to Hamlin's account, was put together a poor running car and effectively sabotage Reddick's efforts in 2023. That's a very vindictive mindset, to say the least. Childress was clearly not happy Reddick was leaving. Does that sound familiar? It should, because it was less than a month ago that Creed unexpectedly made an announcement that he was leaving RCR and in that statement mentioned how he was extremely excited to share his 2024 plans in the future. Remember, this was while he was still alive in the Xfinity playoffs. And then, last week, 
During Fan Appreciation Day and in front of many gathered fans at RCR headquarters, Creed made it clear what he thought about his current team compared to his future team during an appearance on Sirius XM NASCAR radio. Yeah, yeah, I've been signed to something for a few weeks now. Um, I'm really excited about it, and um, honestly, it's maybe my best opportunity yet. So <clears throat> really looking forward to, to next year and excited to share those plans with you guys, I don't know, within a week or two after Phoenix. Best opportunity yet? Ouch. It's clear Creed won it out. It's also clear by Childress's comments after the Martinsville race that he wasn't happy about that decision, similar to his reaction last year with Reddick, an owner spurned who doesn't like to let his drivers leave quietly. The more things change, the more they stay the same.